Today we're going to be talking about two digit by two digit multiplication. We've used the open area for one digit by two, one digit by three. Let's see how it looked for using it for two digits by two digits. Well, let me show you what I see sometimes when students are given a problem like this. I often see that they stack them because they've seen people stack like that when they've multiplied before. And then sometimes they'll think, well, five times two, that's 10. And 40 times 10, that's 400. And that would bring us to 410. Let's look now, let's look and see what happens when we do this same problem with an open area model. With an open area model, I'm going to take my factors, 12 groups, and instead of doing the whole 12, I'll divide it into 10 groups and two more groups, just like that. Then I'm going to have 45 in each group, right? But I'm going to think about having 40 in each group in this section, and then five more in each group in this section right here. So now I'm ready to multiply. 10 groups of 40, there's 10 rows with 40 in a row, that's 400. How many rows are here? Well, there's still 10 rows, but there's five in each row, so that would be 50. How about here? It's kind of like finding area. That's what they call the open area model. I'm always hunting and looking for how many rows, how many in a row, because then I know I'll know the answer in the inside here. Two rows with how many rows? How will I know? Well, if there was 40 in a row here, there's still 40 all the way down. So it's two rows of 40, and that's 80. How about this section? There's still two rows. I'm still here. And how many are in a row? Well, I'm going to look up. Oh, there's still five in a row. So two times five is 10. This would be the final answer. So let's see what it is. It'd be 400 plus 50 plus 80 plus 10. So zero plus zero plus zero. Five plus nine is 14. And four hundredths plus one more hundred. So that's our final answer, 540. And you can see that these are different. Let's take a look, let's analyze our a model, an open area model, and the products that we got there and the products that we got when we did it in a stacked way. I see that I've got, let's see, I see 10 here. Do you see 10 as one of the products in this open area model? Sure, it's right there. I see 400 as one of the partial products I got when I multiplied right here. Do you see that in the model somewhere? Yeah, it's right here. But I'm also seeing that I've missed some products, right? There's no 50, there's no 80 in this one. So I must have missed something. So that happens often. We miss the 50 and the 80. We want to be sure that we understand what 12 times 45 really is. And right here, I've actually multiplied, I've actually written out 12 groups of 45. And let's see what this really means. It means that we have 10 groups of 40. Do you see 10 groups of 40 somewhere here? Sure, and I'm gonna circle them. If I circle this, that's 10 groups of 40. So I imagine that I've counted that much up, 400. The next one I see is 10 groups of five. Do you see 10 groups of five in this amount? Sure, there's my 10 groups of five, counting up 50. But I still have more to go, right? I have two groups of 40, and there they are right there two groups of 40, and then two groups of five. And there's my two groups of five. So in a double digit number, you're gonna have, I really have four different sections. 10 times 40, 10 times five, two times 40, two times five. That's a nice way to look at it, to see what's really going on. So I can see here that I missed some. It was that I just multiplied two times five and 40 times 10. So we'll be learning later on how to do a stacked strategy for multiplying double digit numbers. But for now, we're gonna focus in on the area model, keeping in mind all of the numbers that we're really truly working with. There's 10 groups of 45 and two more groups of 45, right? 10 groups of 40, 10 groups of five, two groups of 40, two groups of five. So use your open area model. You'll be sure to get all of the amounts calculated that you need to have included in the problem. Um, and 
stay tuned for learning how to do it in a stacked form.